Hi everybody, my name is Alex. I'll be the TA for this class. Uh, a little bit about me. I'm a graduate student here at ASU School of Earth and Space Exploration. Um, and my degree is called Exploration Systems Design. So I'm obsessed with outer space. I love physics. Um, and I, in our lab here, here, I can pan over to our dirty lab. In our lab here, uh, we build instrumentation that could one day go to space, and we focus on astronomical instrumentation. Anyway, if you guys want to talk about that, uh, or if any of you are interested in space exploration, we can make a thread in the uh, hallway conversations. But I want to talk a little bit about the class. So a little bit about the mechanics of how the labs and the assignments work. I'm going to try to post these videos um, at least once per unit to kind of give you guys some assistance for what in my opinion are the harder parts of the labs and assignments but feel free to ask me questions through the hallway conversations or if enough people have uh, the same or a similar type of question I can always make one of these videos to help walk you guys through concepts so if you see behind me here I have my whiteboard I've got my whiteboard dry erase markers so instead of typing to you guys and trying to give out some long-winded explanations through just text alone. A lot of times it's easier for me to draw on the board here and give you, si give you guys some uh, visual or math assistance live. Okay, so uh, lab and assignment formats. So the very first question in the lab, I believe, is estimate the wattage of a street lamp. And I'm sure all of you, no problem with this, you're allowed to use any resources at your disposal will probably go to Google and type in wattage of a street lamp. That's a completely fine place to start. And what you'll probably get is a range because not all street lamps are equal. But remember, you're trying to estimate. So Google might spit out a range like 25 to, uh, it's probably a bigger number than that, I think probably 25 to 400 watts. You want to pick what you estimate to be around the middle of this range. Uh, and more likely than not, that will be the correct answer when you start inputting your numbers into the labs. Uh, let's see. So another thing is that uh, when you put, when you format your numbers, the numbers begin as you progress in the labs, they start to get bigger and bigger. So you might start out in the the ones, the tens, the hundreds range. And then you'll start to move into the thousands, the millions, the billions. I forget if, I think we do get up to the trillions in this class. Um, so um, a billion, for instance, is one with nine zeros. That is one billion. Another way to write this number is in scientific notation. So that can be represented like this. So 1 billion can be represented as 1 times 10 to the ninth power. So 10 to the ninth power um, is basically a 1 with 9 zeros after it. So this is just a compact way of representing a bigger number. When I first started the lab, uh, when I worked through the labs before I started making these videos and you guys started doing your labs, I worked through them and I was actually getting the wrong answers because I was inputting that, I was trying to input this to represent something like a billion. I was inputting this one and then this is an, an asterisk which is sometimes used to represent the uh, multiplication symbol times 10 and then a lot of times uh, if you want to bring something to the power of something on a computer use the the caret times 10 to the 9. This format is actually incorrect for the lab, so you don't want to use this. Uh, so I'll put a cross through that. What you want to do is, so you want uh, 1 times 10 to the 9. You want to represent a billion. For the lab, you represent this as 1 E 9. And unless I'm mistaken, I think the E might stand for exponential 
Um, I'm probably way off there, but you'll see this notation on your calculator too. So this is the correct way. This is equal to 1 times 10 to the 9, aka 1 billion. So same thing if you want to do 1 million, which is a 1 with 6 zeros after it, this would be equal to 1 e 6. So I hope that helps you a little bit. Okay, so aside from the labs, you have the assignments and the exams. So try not to be intimidated by these, but my recommendation would be to think about and type out your answers, probably in a word processor or on a scrap sheet of paper, just to get your thoughts in order, and then either copy and paste that into the assignment or exam, or just copy it down. Um, some people might think that there's only uh, one way to write the correct answer, but in reality the way that the assignments and the exams are graded, um, imagine if the question is describe a dog. Um, some people might put uh, wiener dog, some people might put West Highland White Terrier. There's a whole, what I'm trying to get at is that there's a whole um, wide a range of answers that are correct and to show that you understand the concept and will be marked correct. So don't um, stress too much about getting the wording exactly right, but you just have to demonstrate that you know and understand the concept and then the software should be able to pick that up and give you the correct answer. So I hope that's a little helpful. Anyway, I'm looking forward to uh, help guiding you guys through this class and talking to you. Um, another thing I think that would be fun to do if enough of you are interested, because just from the introductions that you guys have been giving on the hallway conversation so far, it sounds like a lot of you guys don't have um, a science background, but you're really just fascinated by um, science and physics and energy and everyday life in general. So if you guys just want to talk about energy and everyday life, physics, space exploration, I can uh, make a maybe just like a cool links hallway conversation thread and we can just anybody who's interested can post cool links that they read current science events and we can talk about stuff there anyway I hope these videos are helpful and the next video that I'm gonna post is a video on unit conversion because I remember when I was first learning this stuff that can be a really tricky one and a big roadblock to get over uh, so thank you guys um, and best of luck to you.